Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I'm going to get into reminders for Obsidian. So Obsidian is, you know, at its core a note-taking app, but if you're like me, you try to get as much out of Obsidian, this particular Swiss Army knife of note-taking tools, and use it to its fullest. So I also put my tasks and to do's in Obsidian. And the only issue with putting your tags into a note taking app is that the native ability to get pop up reminders or set dates on these tasks can be done. But in order to actually get the alerts when things come due, it is particularly challenging. So um, I'm going to show you how. I use a plugin to get reminders, pop-ups, notifications to let me know when certain things are due. But before I get into the, the rest of the video and show you this plugin, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel get to other people looking for the similar content like you are. And I really appreciate it. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so like with everything here, we pretty much have to go into the community plugins um, and search for you know an actual plugin that will do the work that we need here and the one that I'm going to use is reminder the, this plugin is the one that will be used to you can go ahead and assign a date you can put a date and time uh, and then get alerted on these particular uh, to do items that you might be capturing within Obsidian We'll go ahead and do install, we'll enable, and then we'll go ahead into the options. So uh, you do get a full array of options for this plugin. Let me run through a few of them here. So the top one, reminder time, this is the uh, basically the default time on when you'll be reminded uh, within the day if you do not put a time on the reminder. So if you just put a date um, by default, you can set a time on when to get an actual alert. The remind me later, this is a drop down that typically, so I'll show you'll get a pop up message and you're given three options to either mute, you can go ahead and mark it complete, and then you have an option to kind of snooze the actual, um, the, the actual reminder. And you can come in here and you can actually change these. So like I have 30 minutes here for this first one. I can come in there and put, let's do in uh, five minutes. So I can go ahead and add this into this list. And this will show up um, in that particular, you know, pop up. And we will be able to select this here. There is also the ability to use your native system notifications. So the by default, the application Obsidian will present you with a pop-up message using this plugin, uh, but you can use the native system alerts, which typically pops up in you know either the upper right corner or the bottom left corner, particularly if you're using Windows maybe. Now you can also set up a trigger word here to pop out the menu. Uh, it's set to the default here that can be changed. You can set the format of the, the date that and time that you have set up. So this can be changed to with one of these three formats. I'm gonna leave it at the default. And also we can come down here and change some other formatting for the reminder. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave the enable reminder plugin format set up. You can set up some of the date format, the date and time formatting here. Um, what's other relevant ones? One one relevant one that you might want to to actually set is um, the Kanban plugin one. So if you're using Kanban for some of your notes, then you you know it uses a particular format uh, when you want to set a reminder on those. Now, if you want to enable this to use the same formatting, you can enable that as well. Um, other than that, you can again run through these different settings and configure them you know to your liking let's go ahead and get into an actual note you can see here I have this note I have some tasks and if I want to go ahead and put a you know a reminder date on here I'll go ahead and put that trigger 
um, the trigger that we had set up in the settings there, which is just parentheses and the at sign. Um, we notice here that I have this overlay for this today, yesterday, and tomorrow. This is coming from an, another plugin which has the same uh, key characters to trigger it. We can go in and either you can change the trigger for this particular plugin here, or we can go to the other plugin and change its trigger. So it's the natural language dates is the one that's giving me this this particular um, issue here where both are triggering at the same time and I'm getting two different dialogues at the same time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just de um, disenable that particular plugin so it's not enabled and then we will not get that particular trigger anymore in this case. So as you see now, we go ahead, we trigger it, I get the calendar here, and then I can go ahead and select a date, and I will select one in the future there for this here. Now, one other thing here is in the sidebar, there is a tab for the reminders, and you can see which reminders you have in there, what date they're due, and if I go ahead and put one in for today, put one in for today here and let's put one in for a previous day so so I have these three different uh, reminders set up here and we can see that today oh we're getting alerted already here I'll go ahead and cancel this one so we can see here in the side pane there that I have a couple that are overdue and the reason why the one that's there for today is overdue is because nine o'clock was the actual uh, default time that we put in there that your task will be due if they don't have a time on them. So that's why that's showing due, even though it's for today. So if I go in there and I put in, let's say 1600, so four o'clock in my time zone, this here does now is moved from the um, overdue to the today and later in today. Um, and then we have the one that's a few days out here. So um, you can go ahead and put a time in there as I mentioned here. This is using the 24 hour format. Again, this can be changed in the settings if you want to. And let's go ahead and set this up so that I get alerted. Uh, here within say the next minute Okay, so we have the pop-up now and we can see that it shows the three options as I mentioned before We can go ahead and mark this as done. I can mute it So it doesn't alert me again on this particular notification again today Or I can go ahead and set the remind me later, which is pretty much like a snooze so I can go ahead and kind of snooze that there for either the next 30 minutes you can see here it goes and changes that time or I can come in here and let's see if we can get this notification to pop up again then set it to 2 and now we've triggered that alert again for this time I can go ahead and mark this as complete you can see it marks it as complete and as I mentioned, we can also just mute this so that we do not get alerted for this particular um, to-do item again. Now, this one is in this particular file, as I showed you, they're in the sidebar as well. If I opened up another file, I can also have the actual reminders show up in this particular column again. So if I put task four on that one there, we can see that now we have the task four show up in this list. So no matter where the reminder is within your vault, you will see those reminders over here in the sidebar. Now, if you click on the actual task item, it will take you to the to the document. What happened here is I'm clicking on an overdue item. So it's not showing me the actual file. It's popping up this little pop-up here. 
So that's a little load something that's different for some of these. But if I go to one that's in the future, say this task one, you can see it takes me to the actual file that I need to go to to actually modify this one here. So clicking on the the overdue ones give you the pop up as you can see here. But if you click on the ones that are set for the future, then it will take you to the actual file. Now, one thing to note too, this does work on mobile. So I've used it on my mobile phone and the alerts do come up on your mobile phone as well. All right, so if you're using tasks and to-dos within Obsidian, this is a quick and easy way that you can set reminders for those so that you don't forget them. And it's again, straightforward. And I hope that this was informative and brings value and makes your workflow a lot easier going forward as you use reminders and to-dos in Obsidian. So again, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next time, have a nice day.